you know, Cleveland, come on, that's where it came from first. This is the place where they first called the rock. That, that Jim became like a curator at the museum is just so good for everybody. It's good for rock and roll, it's good for this town, you know, but especially good for people like me that, that um, barely have thought of getting, you know, like inducted to it. After all, it's a, it's a hall of fame, so I had some famous records, so maybe I qualify, but Zevon, who's not in there yet, said to me, I said, he was, mm, I'm a fan of mm. I said, what? And I wasn't in it. And then he said, well, let me just ask you a thing. Are you in it? I said, no. He said, I'm talking about it. <laughs> so, so there were some people that I think should be in. For a long time, when people asked me, I'd say, yeah, there's two. There's Randy Newman and there's Warren Zebo. And that, last time I was asked, I said, there's Warren Zebo and there's Little Feet. Little George and Little Feet. So, there's always, you know, and where the hell is John Pine? How come John Pine is there? Are we crazy or what? He'll get, he'll get, what? Nominated. 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 Yeah, that's a whole other thing. The hocus pocus and the nomination for what is going on? We want to call up and say, okay, how do you decide? How does this happen, you know? Well, people vote, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some people, they're, you know, it's just like people vote in the United States. I mean, like, how much of that vote really goes into deciding? Is there an electrical? Is there an electrical college? <laughs> anyway, uh, this is. Uh, I'm going to give you another Zevon song. Uh, this is one of my favorite songs. He wrote this. He wrote so many songs about mortality way before he was diagnosed with, it, you know, a uh, fatal illness. That that was the last record. And the, the, his, but he had written the first record. He had a song called "I Sleep When I'm Dead." He, uh, he, he had a song called. Uh, he had a whole album called uh, "Life Will Kill You." <laughs> then the next album was called "My Rides Here." And he, he was like, was it, you know, that's preoccupied. <laughs> so this is um, one of my favorite songs. This is called uh, yeah. "Life Will Kill You." And by the way, I mean. He's like a musical genius, so like he, he's playing all these great bar talk and certain things. He kind of like cadences in his songs, you know, but I mean, the, the proof of the song being a great song is you could play it with ukulele too if you want. You could play it simple. There's a country version of what I feel good. 